Hey guys, I'm tired at 40. It's been a really long time since I've done a Traeger video. So long, in fact, that the Traeger is starting to develop a pretty thick pile of dust on top of it. So to make it up to you, I'm going to do two this week. Today we're doing smoked ahi tuna steaks on the Traeger. So when you think about the Traeger and you think about grilling really in general, fish usually gets forgotten about and uh, tuna and salmon and all that kind of stuff. If you don't know how to cook it right on a grill, it never turns out right. It tends to stick to the grill. So today I'm going to show you exactly how we can bypass that. And smoking fish is pretty much unmatched as far as fish in my, in my book. Look at that deliciousness. So the real key to victory in order to grill a successful grilled fish or a smoked fish is a good brine. And uh, a brine is real simple. You basically just need four cups of water. You need two thirds of a cup of brown sugar. And then a quarter of a cup of salt. I'm using sea salt, but you can use regular table salt. You can use kosher salt. Uh, if you're using kosher or if you're using sea salt, they're usually a little bit more potent and in order to make it so it's not so salty, uh, you might want to cut back on it just a little bit. So we're going to take our brine and we're going to just completely dissolve all of these ingredients in the water. I think ahi tuna and some fish, it really gets overlooked when it comes to grilling because if you look at the prices, the prices are pretty similar or comparable to a good steak and most people when they want to grill they, they want a steak but an ahi tuna steak that's done right is is right up there it's totally comparable to any kind of steak in my opinion alright so we're gonna go into the brine with the tuna and this brine recipe is good for about two to three pounds of fish and you want to make sure that the fish are completely submerged in the brine and we're gonna, we're gonna submerge this for 45 minutes to an hour and you def definitely do not wanna go over one hour because it will start to get really, really salty. So you definitely wanna make sure that everything is submerged to get that maximum tenderness out of the fish. All right, once our hour's up, we're gonna go out to the Traeger, start it on smoke and get it warmed up. I wasn't kidding, this thing has a layer of dust on it. So while your grill's warming up, it's a good time to make the coating for your fish. It kind of gives you that crust on the fish after it's smoked. So to do that, you'll just need about a third of a cup of honey. You'll need uh, some pepper and some garlic powder. So these have been in here for about 45 minutes. To me, that's plenty. Um, I'm not a big fan of over salty, especially when on fish. But you just take these out and then we're going to rinse them with cold water and we're going to pat them dry with a paper towel or a towel you want them completely dry or as dry as possible and rinsing off just gets the rest of that brine off of there otherwise if you uh, if you don't it's going to be real real salty so now we want to take our third of a cup of honey and we just want to drizzle the honey onto the fish. You can throw this in the microwave because it'll spread a little bit easier, but I kind of like it uh, if it's not warmed up because the, the next ingredients, the pepper and the garlic, they stick a little bit better to it. Now we're going to take our pepper and just sprinkle a little bit of pepper over the top. And this is to taste, so it's up to you on how much pepper you want to put on. And then we're going to do the same with the, the granulated garlic. Alright, these are ready to go and it looks like the Traeger is just starting to smoke so it should be good. We're going to go onto the Traeger for about 20 minutes on smoke. So I want to remind you that we are smoking this. A lot of people do seared tuna, which only takes about two to three, sometimes five minutes 
um, on a very high heat. We're doing this on a very low heat because I want the crust on the outside. So it's going to be low and slow. So if you want more of the rare or medium rare consistency on your tuna steak, just adjust the, uh, the time accordingly. Alright, so after 20 minutes you're going to go up to 225. And this is where you're really going to want to pay attention to how the steak turns out depending on uh, if you want it rare, medium rare, or done. So I typically leave mine on for about 20 to 30 minutes at this point. Uh, I wouldn't go more than 40 minutes or you're going to have some really dry fish. But it does add a nice crust to it like a smoked fish does. But with ahi tuna it turns out a lot better if it's real tender. So I want to show you the difference between 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and 40 minutes. It's still pretty rare. It's, uh, it's cooked on the outside. You have a nice smoke ring, but you still get this pink in the center. So we'll do this one next at 30 minutes. All right, so it's been 30 minutes now. Let's see what this one looks like. And these are pretty thick as well. Not all of them, not all of them are going to be that thick. Not a huge difference, but still a little pink in the middle. All right, third time's a charm. This one's been on for 40 minutes. It's probably the thickest one, and that looks just about perfect. And you can see it's still falling apart just like you want fish. It's got plenty of tenderness. It's awesome. So 40 minutes it is. These are absolutely perfect. Stuff will just melt in your mouth. You can see it's just falling apart. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna take this inside and cut it up. Man, if you've never tried ahi tuna steaks or fish at all on Traeger, on the Traeger, you've gotta give it a shot. Ahi tuna just has a very unique taste it's not fishy at all um, it almost doesn't taste it's almost not like a fish you can use it in so many different things it's good for fish tacos you can eat them whole just like this and slice it like you would a steak but man with the honey and the pepper on there it's just awesome so thanks for cooking with me today if you haven't already take a moment to subscribe we do some cooking we do some grilling we do some tragering we do some gardening, we do some self-sustained living, some freeze drying, food preservation, really all kinds of stuff, some frugal living. And when you click subscribe, make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of new videos that come out. Also take a moment to leave me a comment. I love hearing from the community. Let me know how the recipe turned out for you, or maybe if you do it a different way, maybe let me know how to do that. Also make sure you tune in Friday, because as promised, I'm gonna have a Traeger video on Friday also, since I haven't done one for so long. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you on Friday.